So today we're going to do an unboxing of the Palouse light box. And this one is the 40 centimeters, which I believe they have one more larger size. And of course they have their smaller size, which I've been using for quite a while. And I chose this brand because of the good results I had with the smaller box. And let's open it and take a look and see what's inside. So inside the shipping box, as you can see, we have a nice carrying case, which has a little pouch in front to put your extra money. And let's take a look inside. So as we look inside, we can see it comes with a bunch of goodies and some I didn't expect, actually. Got some fresh fruit here and stuff. And it also comes with a, well, this must be the power the power control because the I understand that the lights, the LED lights, are adjustable on this unit. Another power cord. And it also comes with a decent user manual. Take a look inside. It looks like we have a couple backgrounds here. couple of nice backgrounds. This is kind of a strange color. Uh, I'm not sure we're going to use all of these, but uh, this is more like a coral, I guess you would call it, like a orange, light orange coral color. And of course the ever popular white. And this is going to be a nice background to use. And let's see if we can set this thing up. And of course this one was already attached to the light box. This is the black background. I'm not sure if I'm going to be using something like this because this has kind of a sheen to it and this might throw off some glare. But anyway, this gives you an idea of what's included. And now we have the light box itself. And we're going to attempt to put this thing together without any instructions. My wife always says, read the instructions. No, I got to put it together first and then I'll check the instructions. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look. So here you can see the inside of the light box. I don't know if you can see that, but it has two light bars going across, one in front and one in back. And it looks like once you close this thing down, you have the silver is more of like a reflector. You have a reflective surface that you can use. So let's take this off. And as we close this down here, Looks like everything just seems to Velcro together. I'm just doing a, a quick setup here just so we can start using this. Okay, so this is how it's supposed to be. And if you can't see inside here, I'll just explain it. We have our two reflectors, the reflective sides, which is going to bounce the light all around. And then we have our light bars on top. And in this case, now since we set up the proper way, we have one to the left and one to the right. So we're going to attach the white background with this. And as you can see, the backgrounds have little Velcro sections, one on each side here, that you just Velcro onto the top side so it stays in place. We're just going to make sure that everything is Velcro together good and tight. Okay, so we're going to open this back up so we can attach our background. And then inside we have little Velcro sections up on the each side so you can see that's where we attach the background. Just so you can see, this is how it is on the inside. We already had the background attached to it. And let's close this back up here. Actually, pretty simple to put together. And it looks like up on top here we have the two cords that come out, and it looks like one attaches to each one of the light bars in here. Let's see if it 
this is here. So this again is a little opening here if you want to shoot from the top down. And I also saw that the Lightbox kit came with something they call a soft cloth. And I figured out that what that is is a piece of material that measures about 13 inches square and this Velcro attached to the sides of it. And if you look at the top where the LED lights are, there's also Velcro there. So I'm going to mount this over the LED lights, which essentially turns this into a soft box, giving me a really nice soft lighting, a little bit softer than you would get from the harsh LED lights. So this is the power control that came with it, and we're going to hook that up. We're going to attach this part in, and then we're going to plug this into the AC outlet. Okay, so now we do have it attached, and let's hook this up to a light box. So we have two cords, one for each light bar, and we now have it attached. So let's take a look and see if it works. We're going to be controlling this from the uh, power control module here. And let's look inside. So there's even Velcro on top here. I saw I'm not sure what this is for, but I'm gonna use this just to keep the top up like that. Okay, so here you can see we can just fine-tune it a little bit. We have a beautiful white background that's set up. And then, of course, we can control the intensity of the light. Wow, I'm pretty impressed. This is pretty nice stuff for what you pay for something like this. All right, so there it is. So this is the easiest setup without even looking at the instructions. And probably, but it's probably a good idea to have a look first just to see. But I was like fooling around with things. And then uh, if I have to refer to the instructions, I'm probably going to be referring to the instructions anyway, just in case I miss something. But uh, okay, so everything is complete. It comes with three different backgrounds, your power controls, and a couple odds and ends yet. And then we're going to take a look and do some photography and see how this light box works out. When you're photographing smaller items, you can just point your camera through the openings in front of the light box. However, we photograph many things that are a little bit larger that may need more of the width of the light box. So I'm going to take off the front panel here and then I'll usually tuck it under the light box or you can just leave it hang over the edge of the table. And this way you're able to get a little bit more coverage when you're photographing, even though I'm going to be losing that little bit of a reflective material in front, it's going to allow me to get more coverage out of my light box. So coming up, we're going to photograph a few products. So to give you an idea of the kind of photography that you can get with using this simple Palouse light box. Thank you very much.